the book of Alpha running, man, homie. Read it or weep. Being Alpha ain't easy, man. It's the easy way is to just fall in line and do whatever women say they want men to do, like all these other guys do. If, if this year, if women say we want men that wear this, everybody going to wear that. If you, if you find out, if all of a sudden all the beautiful women like men who drive old school cars, everybody going to cash in their new cars, man, and build them an old school. If suddenly women say we only want men on a bicycle or who, who ride a bicycle, you're going to see these men riding up and down the street on bicycles, man. They're going to do whatever they have to do in order to impress women when we as alpha males, we just sit back in the cut and say this, okay, the game wasn't always this way. But as the game change, that don't mean I'm going to change with it. I'ma stand, I'm stand on my 10 toes. I'ma keep 10 toes down and be the man that I am. See, let me tell you something. When you're true to yourself, you can't change because the weather change. You know what I'm saying? If you're true to yourself, you don't change because the circumstances change. You just figure out a way to make those circumstances work for you, the man you are. You don't change. You don't become someone else because women say, okay, well, this is how it is. Let me tell y'all something. The gynocracy that we live in, man, has given women total control in the dating game. And so you either have to be a man who's willing to be run by women or you, you're going to be a man who's going to stand on principle and be like, man, I'm not going to play that game. I don't, I'm not against dating because you know, it's wrong, something wrong with meeting women. I'm against dating, man, because I'm not finna jump through all them hoops just to get no broad. You know what I'm saying? Especially, man, as an OG. You know what I'm saying? I was this way in my 20s. I ain't finna jump through no hoops to get no broad. My homies used to always say, hey, man, we about to go out, man, and get at some chicks, man. I'd be like, man, y'all go ahead. I'm going to stay here and hold down the fort. You know what I'm saying? Christmas Eve come around. They all out of the club, man. I'm killing the block. Literally, the only one on turf at work. Everybody else gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just sitting there, chilling, getting my money. Because I'm not going to jump through no hoops, man. I wasn't raised like that. I wasn't raised to bend and bow and do what women want me to do just so I can have their company. My company is the company that needs to be had. I give myself more company than a woman could give me. Yeah, and I'm telling you, man, I was put here to do this, brother. I got the game from the peas, man, as a youngster, man, before I even knew what the game was, before I even knew how to understand what they were telling me, man. You know what I'm saying? But as I started facing those situations in life, I was like, oh, this is what they were talking about. Oh, yeah, they told me about this. Mm, no, nah, you can't catch me, shawty. I know about this already. So I, the, I'm here to be able to tell you, man, man, that you don't have to go through those things, man. If you've been through them, cool, but you don't have to go through them anymore. There's a way to navigate society. There's a way to, to have positive interaction with women. You understand what I'm saying? As long as you ain't a guy, man, that's just all about sex, sex, sex. You understand? And that's the, that's the element of the game that I bring. Man, we live in a society, man, where women have all this education. They getting all this money. And all these boys talking about is getting sex from them. You know why? Because you got to have some show enough masculine energy to get a woman to buy into your process, man, where she's willing to put everything on the line for what you got on the line. These boys can't do that. When they get to the point where it comes time to talk about money, they, they automatically go into provider mode. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the difference between us and them. We don't automatically go into provider mode. We don't have a provider mode. I don't have a provider mode for a woman, bro. I don't have a mode that says, okay, well, I'm supposed to provide for her and she's supposed to do whatever she want to do with her money and keep it and, and do whatever she want to do. And I'm supposed to pay all the bills while she do whatever she want to do with her money. I don't have that mode. That's the beta male simp mangina mode and I don't have it. You come to the alpha sphere, you won't find you won't find any men here who have that in them. We don't have that. Not now, not ever. We just we're just not gonna have that. That doesn't make sense. See, you know, you have two kind of men. You have men who use sex as a source of validation and fulfillment because they feel good because this beautiful woman let them touch on her, even though the woman wants to touch them too. But they just feel good. They feel better than the woman feels. Like they feel good. They feel like they've accomplished something. And all they're getting is validation and fulfillment. And, and the fulfillment don't even last long. Versus using it as a tool of reward and punishment. If a woman really likes you, brother, you can reward her. You can reward her with sex. You can reward her with your touch. You can reward her with intimacy. You can't reward a woman with something if you lead out the door with it. 
It's cool. Listen, man. Y'all know me. I don't diss nobody. I don't call nobody out because I frankly don't give a damn what nobody does. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't care what guys do when it come to women, man, when it come to whatever they do, man. I don't have a dog in that race, man, because I don't know them and I ain't worrying about them. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? My guys are right here in the alpha sphere. So, you know, outside of this, you know, whatever you do, I'm just trying to make sure that we are on our path doing the thing we need to do as alpha kings. But when you use sex as a source of validation and fulfillment, that's all you can get out of the woman because that's all you looking for. If that pleases you and you're satisfied, then the one man, the woman has a smorgasbord of things that she can offer to your life, man. And I'm going to be honest with you. Brothers don't get it, man, because they always run. Man, let's let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Regular men code approach every fine woman they see and they think it's an accomplishment to just run up on every fine woman you see now granted you can listen man i'm not saying you can't get any great sexual experiences from running up on a woman i'm not saying you can't but if sex it may if you're a grown man and all you can get out of a woman is sex and i don't want to hear no no i don't want to hear no beta male simp man china talk with, well dr boa that's all i want from a woman i got plenty of money i don't need no money from a woman i don't need a woman to contribute nothing to me all she need to contribute is this right here okay well if your energy is just is just as valuable to you as as getting a nut fine this ain't for you see this ain't for everybody and if it ain't for you it ain't for you there's no knock on you if it ain't for you it ain't for you but cold approaching every fine woman you see is better. It reeks of desperation. It reeks of a man who don't get a lot of sex. I just don't understand how you can get a lot of sex and still run up on every woman you see. You don't get a lot of sex. Because when you cold approach women all the time, you don't get a lot of wins. You lose most of the time. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to use this as a great example, man. And this is the best example I can find, man. Shout out to the home of AMS. If me and AMS somewhere kicking it, let's say we in... Let's say we out in Cali, man. BT Awards or something, man. We just out there kicking it. You know what I'm saying? And we out there and there's a woman and we see this woman. Now, this woman's preference is dark-skinned men who are over 6'3". I'm 6'1". AMS is 6'5". But he's got the height, but he light-skinned. I've got the skin tone, but I'm two inches too short. Who is that woman going to want? Which, which, which is she going to sacrifice? Is she going to sacrifice the height for the color? Or is she going to sacrifice the color for the height? Which one is she going to do? That's what happens when you cold approach. Th those are the odds that you're taking. Like, women don't have that kind of value, especially if all you're looking for is sex. See, this is even about women's value. This is about the value of sex. If the value of sex causes you to do that then you can't possibly be getting much sex you can't possibly be getting much sex man you know what i'm saying especially man especially if you're a man if you're older than 35 man and you slid up in your 40s bro let's be realistic you do not have the same libido you had when you were 20 just for the simple fact that you've gotten you've gotten some sex you know what i'm saying it's not as exciting to you anymore the libido thing with younger men it doesn't have it is not necessary because you can be healthy as an ox at, at, at 40 and you're just not gonna have the same libido but you could be you can have equal strength and even more strength than everything else because it's just about the fact that libido comes from a necessity to get laid because when you're young you ain't getting a whole lot of action so the more action you get then you start to minimize the importance of of sex and so it's just not it's just not as exciting for you anymore so you don't chase it like that so it's not about the libido it's about the fact that you at, by the time you 40 you develop things in your life man that just have more importance than sex when you're a freshman in college man the only thing on your mind man is getting to class and getting some ass that's the only thing on your mind you got two things on your mind but by the time you 35 man your mind your mindset can't be the same it simply can't be the same you could be that man that cold approaches fine women every time you see one or you could be that man that's going about your business and you just bump into that woman that you got that spiritual connection with and let me tell you what happens when you when you bump into a woman that you connect with spiritually see a fine woman is a fine woman but if you connect with a fine woman spiritually if there's a spiritual connection just a ding that thing that happens that animal magnetism that happens that lets you know that this woman is a gift from god to benefit your process I'm an alpha king. Any woman in my life has to benefit my process. She can't just come and bring me sex. 
because sex is too easy. It shows nothing. If a woman is horny, she wants sex too. It shows nothing. Oh, for to be in my presence, to interfere in my peace of mind zone, to get some of this peace of mind that I have created for myself. With the blessings of the Most High, of course, she has to bring something of value. So when we talk about attraction confirmation, we're just talking about, man, if we're out doing our business, if, if I'm on a mission doing something, there is no woman that I'm going to see that's more important than what I'm doing. And I just don't go out just to hang out. You know what I'm saying? I just don't go somewhere just to kick it and see if some women going to be there. Man, I don't get down like that, man. I got better things to do, man. I got much better things to do. So that's the reason that, you know, the whole cold approach thing, bro. I'm When I'm out, I'm always on a mission. I never just go outside just to go outside. Oh, man, I'm bored in the house, man. Oh, let me go out somewhere and hang out. Man, I don't do that because I'm not bored. My life is amazing. My peace of mind zone is amazing, bro. Everything I want, I got it right here. So for a woman to come in here and, and if any time a woman comes into my life, she's going to interfere in my life. My life is set without her. She's going to interfere in my life. Do you know how much value she has to bring for me, man, for her to let her come in and interfere in my life? She's an interference. I have to allot time to her that I'm not allotting to anything but my business. So every woman, I have to put her into my life and dedicate some of my valuable time to her. These guys don't value their time. They don't value their presence. They, you know why you, you know, you know why they don't value their presence? Because they feel like their presence is enhanced because a woman is around. I don't even get that. But when you don't have a connection with the most high, you don't understand the proper order of things. Some of these guys probably put, the, put they, their proper order is probably God, woman, then me. Has to be. That's the only way they could be running up behind women like this, man. Listen, I'm not saying that we don't like women. I'm not saying we don't love women. I'm saying we don't. I'm not even saying we don't need women. Hey, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know about these other guys. Some of these guys, they can go monk or do whatever they want to do. But, man, hey, man, sometime, man, I need to touch on something. I ain't going to sit here and tell you no lie. Sometime I need to touch on something. And when I need to touch on something, I touch on something. But the thing is, I only touch on something when I need to touch on something. There is no way that a grown man, man, can feel like, man, he need to knock down a different chick every week. That's 52 women in a week, man. I mean, a year. Come on, bro. That don't even make sense. What do you gain from that? The right to say, I have 52 women in a week. Let me tell you something. Will Chamberlain said he was with 20,000 women. You know what people remember Will Chamberlain for? Scoring 100 points in a game. Tell me what man that you know is remembered for how many women he was with. It's an exercise in futility. It brings no value to your life. 